In today's video, I will show you automation examples on how to set up notifications in Home Assistant, how to filter non-useful notifications. But before we do that, let's see what notifications should do. Smart home notifications should do two things. One, keep you informed and two, help you act before something becomes a problem. We can call these fail-safe notifications. Let's break these notifications down in two categories, non-smart and smart. Most people set them up wrong. They get spammed or worse, they miss the one alert that actually matters. Don't create notifications for stuff like this. Motion detected, light turned off, light turned on, door opened, because five minutes later, you're ignoring everything. Why? Because those are non-smart notifications. They alert you everything, even when it doesn't matter. In this video, I'll show you useful and proactive notifications ideas that will level up your home assistant setup. So let's make your smart home actually smart. What makes a notification smart? A smart notification isn't just about alerts. It's about sending the right message at the right time when it truly matters. Getting notified every time the door opens, it's annoying. Getting notified only at night if the door opens, that's better. Smart notifications are context aware. They respond based on factors like time of day, who's home, current conditions, what else is happening in your home. That's how your smart home stops sending spam and starts being useful. Thank you so much for your support. This channel is brand new and I'm dedicated to bringing you practical examples and devices that make your smart home smarter. If you enjoy my videos, please give a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss future tips. And drop a comment below. Let me know what tutorials or devices you like to see next. So let's see some smart notification examples. I will cover just a few examples. Must have notifications, but there are loads of very useful notifications you can do. Please let me know in the comments below what kind of notifications are you using. So let's start. The first one is a must have, the battery replacement reminder. Why it matters? Most sensors run on batteries. If you don't replace them in time, it can break automations or even risk your safety if a smoke or gas detector dies. Let's build an example right now. In Home Assistant, we need to go to Settings, Automations and Scenes, Create Automation, Create New Automation. We need to add a trigger, Device, and we look for our device. In my case, I'm going to use my smoke alarm. And the trigger should be smoke alarm battery level changes. And we set the threshold maybe 30%. Then we scroll down and add an action. Go down on the list, other action, perform action. In our case, we want a notification on the phone. Just click on your phone and what message would you like to get? Save. And we need to give the automation a name smoke detector battery level. You should name it as you wish. Save and that is it. Now let's do a fail safe notification. I will use an example what happened to me last week. The water pump was running too long. My house runs on a water pump, a hydro four. Last week the pressure switch failed to shut off and the pump just kept running. A simple notification alert let me know it had been on for long and that heads up saved my system from damage. If you want to build something extra, check out my video on templates in Home Assistant. It shows you how to monitor devices and show you exactly how long a device was on each day. This type of notification can alert you when your TV is left on too long, when a device runs unexpectedly or when something's not behaving as it should. Let's do an example like that right now. Settings again, automations and scenes, create automation, create new automation, add a trigger, device, in my case it's the Hydro 4, and let's search for the trigger. We need to know when the power changes. So this is the one, and we need to set, set a threshold, maybe above five. Don't put it close to zero because you could get false alarms. Add an action, same as before, other actions, perform action, look for your phone, and we write the title. Save and give it a name so you know what the automation is about. Save, and that is it. Tip number three, temperature to high warning. Why it matters? What if your heating fails to shut off and no one notices? or no one is at home or asleep. This alert notifies you before things get too hot. Use the other examples we made today, just change the device with your temperature sensor and add a threshold above 24 degrees maybe and add the same action as before. As an extra measure, give the command to shut down the heating again. But if it failed the first time, great chances that it will fail again. So thermostat or heating system must be checked when you get this notification. 
Tip number four, trash day reminder. Forgetting to take out the trash isn't a disaster, but it's a major hassle when the garbage truck shows up and you're left with piles of trash. A simple night before reminder solved this. You'll know exactly when the trash day is coming, so you never miss your pickup again. It's not a life or death, but it's one of those handy notifications that makes everyday life just a little bit smoother. Let's do this one together. It's a bit different than the ones we did before. So we need to go to settings, automations and scenes, create automation, create new automation, add a trigger and we choose time this time and again time. Maybe you want the notification at eight o'clock. This time we need to set the end if condition, add condition, time, again time. And you say maybe it's after eight o'clock and you know exactly the days the garbage truck comes. So I'll put Monday maybe and Thursday and then the rest is the same like in the other examples we did device, other actions, perform action. Save, name your automation and save again. All of these examples notify you when something actually matters. They protect your home, your energy consumption, your routines and your peace of mind. All of these smart notifications and fail safe automations make your home not just smarter but safer. Take a moment to look at your home assistant setup and ask yourself what notifications are truly useful? What could help prevent a real problem? Focus on safety first alerts and high value triggers. You don't need 100 alerts a day. You need the right ones at the right time for the things that actually matter and your smart home becomes a smart assistant. Hit the like button if you found something useful, subscribe for more home assistant automations and comment below what's your favorite notification or one you want to build. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.